So what I was sharing, but what you couldn't hear is that, um, of course, this is a very difficult time. Uh, it has been a challenging one year all over the world. And especially still in, in many parts of the world, um, it is very difficult. Uh, especially now in India, we see with the pandemic and of course in South America, in the United States still and in many other parts. So when I was in Africa, the last one year, we used to do this. We used to come together in the evening for half an hour every day to chant, to meditate and uh, to pray for the safety, the health, the well-being of all the people. And of course, especially our near and dear ones. So I thought we can do this uh, again. But then in this way, maximum people can join. It's available to all. And we have called it Sangha Shakti because in the scriptures they say that in this time, in this era, you know, this yuga, they say the most powerful thing is when you come together. It says Sangha Shakti Kali Yuga. In Kali Yuga, in this era, anything that is done in a group is much more powerful, whether it is uh, good things or bad things. So when we chant together, when we meditate together, or when you come together in service, all of these things become much more powerful. In the other yugas, it may have been, uh, you know, tapas, tapasya penance, for example, that was very, very effective or something else. But in this yuga, it is when you do anything together in a group. So we'll do this every day for the coming days. Um, let us see as long as it's possible, it's required. Um, so we will start with a few minutes of Nadi Shodhan Pranayama, uh, the alternate nostril breathing. For those of us who don't know, who have not learned, it's very simple. Um, your left hand can be in chin mudra like this, and you can keep it on your, on your leg, on the knee or in the lap. And the right hand can be placed on the nostrils where your right thumb is on the right nostril, your two small fingers on the left nostril, and the other two fingers you can place it in between. So we will do this just for a few minutes to settle the mind. And then we will chant the Om Namah Shivaya mantra together 108 times. You can close your eyes, you can sit comfortably and you can chant along with me. I will chant and you can either chant out loud or if that is uh, difficult for you or right now it's not possible, it's not comfortable, you can chant it mentally as well. And then after that, you can continue to keep your eyes closed and I will guide you through a sh short meditation, a guided meditation, where you just need to listen to the instructions in a very gentle manner. And after the meditation, um, I will chant a few mantras also of blessing and we will pray, we will keep this intention that for us, our families, our near and dear ones and all the people who are struggling, who are suffering, that they may get the health, the strength, and the peace that is so much needed. So let us start with a few minutes of Nadi Shodhan Pranayama. You can close your eyes, sit comfortably. And we start by breathing in from both the nostrils in a very gentle manner. And then you may close the right side and then breathe out from the left. Again, breathe in from the left. Hold, then close the left side, open the right, breathe out from the right. Breathe in from the right. Hold and breathe out from the left. Continue this few more rounds on your own. Long and gentle breath. The slower and the more gentle the breath, the more effective the pranayama is. So it is neither fast nor forceful, slow and gentle.
And when you complete this round, you may relax. You can relax your hands, sit comfortably. We will chant the Om Namah Shivaya Mantra together. You may chant along with me. Om Namah Shivaya 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 
Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya 
Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya And you may keep your eyes closed. And observe the vibrations of the mantras inside you and all around you. Feel the vibrations. You are bathing in the vibrations of the mantras. They are energizing your body and mind and your consciousness. And you can feel how the stresses and strains and the tiredness is slowly getting washed off. leaving the body and mind. Now for a moment, keep the body totally still. Sharir ko pura sthirakhe. Don't move an inch. Right now you are totally still, like a stone or a statue. You are like the Buddha statue, immobile. Even if you feel like moving some part of the body, resist. Just bear with it for some time. You are totally still. The only thing that is moving is the breath, which is moving in and out of the body on its own, effortlessly. Right this moment, you are totally still, as if frozen in time.
as the body is still, the mind also settles down. and starts to expand more and more in all directions. Becoming bigger and bigger. Whatever thoughts may be coming up in the mind, do not resist. Just let them come and go on their own. The thoughts are like the waves on the surface of the ocean. They rise up from the ocean and dissolve back into the ocean. And they are only on the surface. The ocean is vast and deep and remains untouched and unaffected by the waves. You are like that ocean, vast and deep. Untouched by your thoughts, your emotions, and all the experiences and situations that we go through during the day. You are untouched and ever pure. The eternal witness to this creation. You have always been there and you will always be there. totally still and untouched. Om Asadoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amratam Gamay Om oh,
शांति 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 Take another deep breath in and breathe out. Become aware of your body and the surroundings. And then from that space of expansion, and of peace. We pray for the benefit of all the beings, all the people who are going through a difficult time, that they may all be healthy, they may be at peace, that they may get the strength and the faith to move through this challenging time knowing that this also will pass. Just like in the past we have faced different challenges that may have seemed unsurmountable but we went through it and we came out all right. We pray that all those who are currently not well may recover soon. And for those few whose work was done on this planet and who have moved on, that their souls may continue their journey joyfully. And that those who survive them may move on with the knowledge that they are taken care of and they are continuing their journey. With the sankalpa of peace and strength for this whole world, let us offer the merit and the effect of our chanting and meditation for this purpose. Om Shanti 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 And very slowly and gradually you may open your eyes again And I would like to thank all of you for joining us. And I would like to invite all of you to join us again tomorrow and in the coming days at the same time. Uh, please feel free to invite anyone that may benefit from this, that may want to join, to join us. This is of course open for all. Uh, they can join on any of the channels also people who are going through a difficult time to give them strength, give them solace, uh, to give them some way to deal with their mind and the turmoil they may be going through. And please feel free if you wish in the comments, if you wish to leave the any special blessing requests for your near and dear ones. You can share their name or any anything you would like to share. I can see uh, the comments 
Um, and even later on, we will check because the sessions on YouTube and on Facebook will still be available afterwards. Um, on Instagram, that's not the case. So even if you're watching this later, you can still, you can leave the comments, you can share your experience also. If anybody would like to share that experience, um, it may inspire many more people to come together in knowledge, to come together in prayer and meditation and in chanting. And in the coming days also, at the beginning, I'll keep sharing a little bit of knowledge as well. Um, we'll share a little bit more about the importance of the Om Namah Shivaya Mantra. I'll share a little bit more uh, from the scriptures, different, different things that can give us strength in these challenging times to remind us that we are so much more than just the body and just the mind. And that can give us immense strength so that each one of us can become a lighthouse onto those who are close to us in our environment so that we can give them strength, we can become a source of solace and inspiration and enthusiasm for all our near and dear ones and whoever we may meet. And this is the need of the hour. And I know so many people are coming together to serve, doing tremendous work in whatever capacity. So these are challenging but also very inspiring times. So for all of you who have joined us, there are lots of blessings for you, each one of you. And know that these mantras have a lot of effect and don't underestimate the power of your sankalpas, your prayer. So again, I thank you all for joining us and I would like to invite you to keep joining us and share this with people. You know, we are doing the session so that maximum people can benefit. So anywhere you feel people may, may wish to join may wish to benefit from this, uh, they are most welcome. Yeah. So with this, we conclude today's session and we'll see you again tomorrow. Lots of love and blessings. Namaste. Jai Gurudev. Om Namah Shivaya.